Hey guys, welcome back to Die Cash Views. So I was doing a review on Adam Rodriguez, one of the trucks that appeared in the Trucks episode of Cars on the Road. Now, most people would say that that's probably their least favorite episode of Cars on the Road. I would agree with that. Didn't really add much to the plot. It was mostly a fantasy episode. Um, as everything was going on inside kind of Mater's head uh, with that whole thing. Uh, one thing that I will say about that episode, it gave us a lot of cool trucks um, for future releases, Adam Rodriguez being one of them. It was obviously one of the mini racers we got um, was a, from that same episode. That would be a cool uh, release in the main line. We got, i uh, say, a Miss Fritter kind of repaint of just a regular school bus. That would be a cool release in the main line um, amongst others. But Adam here, pretty cool car, pretty cool truck. Um, I'm glad that they did decide to release him. Also, we got like a tow truck from that episode. He's getting released in 2024. But um, not a great episode in terms of storytelling. A pretty good episode for the diecast end, I would say. Let's see Adam here. Nice card art. Do you like that picture? See you for 2023. There he is. Um, now, he was released earlier on in the year in one of those cases where the Walmart uh, version of the case wasn't really good. And then the Target version of the case will never, really never showed up in Target. So he was stuck in no man's land because he wasn't in the Walmart case. He was in the Target case. Only that Target case never showed up at Target. Uh, so he was never released. But then he's in 2023 20, case J, I want to know. One of the later cases um, that's actually showing up at Target. He's there. Squat. Uh, you can't see him, but you'll see him in the bit. There's squats there. Miles Axel are the opening hoods there. Those guys are there. I think Todd the Pizza Plant Truck is in that case as well. Um, those are showing up at Targets now. So if you do want them, Target's your best bet. I got them at uh, Target. On the back there, you've got some other cool releases. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy, I think I did a video on him earlier. I did a video on these guys, and all of these guys have been videos I've done on them. Uh, the dinosaurs are kind of rare right now, though he's in a 2024 case. He is not. But uh, he's, I think, a little less rare than this guy currently. He will become more rare than this guy in the future. Unless he's re-released, of course. Yeah, there's the back. Um, enough rambling. Let's get Adam here out of the package. So here's Adam Rodriguez out of the package. That was a very smooth uh, opening. I haven't had a smooth one like that in a while. But here he is out of the package. And he does look pretty good. Uh, obviously, one of the more unique releases we've had. Of course, it's a fire truck, but we haven't had a fire truck uh, quite like this. Um, there's his expression. Uh, nothing too special, just pretty much a standard smiling expression there. Uh, I do like the grill there. Looks pretty nice. Um, it's got some texture there to it. Yeah, nothing really that special on the front. On the side, I will say, Mattel did a great job with the uh, dirt detailing and whatnot. You can really see it there. Um... You can just kind of see it all along there and on the side there as well. Very, very nice. It looks like he's number 209 in the uh, Fire and Rescue, Race Fire and Rescue Department there. Um, a lot of these guys have numbers. He has 209. I don't know what that means. Um, he's got kind of the medical cross, medical symbol there. It's kind of got a wrench in the uh, kind of star there or whatever. Uh, they used to have a different one. I think for Plants, Fire, and Rescue, they had one where it was like a star, but it was like wrapped around in something. So, uh, they've changed it for, I guess, cars. There you go. Obviously, Race, Fire, and Rescue. Uh, this would mean he's a Piston Cup kind of employee. He works for the Piston Cup circuit. Uh, he does have some kind of like cabinets or whatever there, though I don't see how they're much used to him. It's not like you can go in there and get to him. I guess maybe a, a pity can go in there and get uh, stuff out of there, but... Yeah, he does have some some shelves and stuff. Um, now this red, you can see, does look a bit different. This is plastic. This is metal. So he's kind of he's pretty light because light because of that. Uh, there he does have the roof bar kind of light there. Um, that red, red, blue, just red and light. I guess that's for fire trucks. Um, on the back here, we've got keep back, uh, race, fire, and rescue. See number 209 there again, and that same logo. Some more dirt detailing there on the bottom. Uh, got some caution tape. Uh, maybe another kind of shelf back here. More taillights and whatnot. 
it on the top. Then we've got like the aluminum. I think it's kind of like supposed to represent aluminum. Um, and it's, it's textured as well, so that's pretty nice. And some more. It definitely has some dirt detailing in there. I also do like the rims. Really like the rims, how they're uh, rusty and whatnot, or a representation of rust in them. That, that looks very nice. On all four sides, or all four wheels rather. Very very nice. Here's the base, see when he was made. I don't know if this one was the kind of early one made or they remade him for this release. Uh, and honestly, I don't even see a date stamp on here. So that's, oh, it's right back here. Uh, S28A is what it says. It's right there. You can't see it right, right there. Very interesting, I've never seen it put a date stamp kind of that kind of, uh, like that far and nowhere and very hard to see but obviously uh pretty cool i mean interesting release uh he does remind me of something here's tiny lugsworth he's the fire truck we got when cars 3 first came out uh first cars 3 diecast first came out um i think he was released he was supposed to play a more major part in the movie because he even has a meet the cars uh, kind of bio written all about him and he was one of the first uh, deluxes to be released, so he definitely was supposed to play a more major part in the movie. Um, but he ended up kind of getting axed, and I don't even think we see him in the movie. So, um, but he's kind of the best. What well, we uh, comparison we have for a Cars Three Piston Cup fire truck. Uh, there are some comparisons I can make. Obviously, the race, fire, and rescue logo uh, symbols are basically identical. The text, the font, everything, very very similar. Uh, you can see that his number is. 017 017 race division 017 i don't know if that means he's assigned to one track and adam's assigned to another track because he's number 209 um i don't know i can tell you though that the logo is slightly different for tiny there you can see there's the rescue logo well, i guess the, the star symbol itself it has a star and wrench it's just in kind of this crest that says rescue um race division on the bottom there are some checkered flags he just has the star symbol. Um, Ty's a pretty cool release. I think kind of underrated too because he never really got many re-releases. Um, he does have the keep back as well. But yeah, I think Tiny's a bit, like I said, underrated. But uh, he does look very, very nice. They're compared to Adam. They do look that like they could be co-workers. Uh, here's another car we have from the... Piston Cup. It's two scatter shields. He is also race division 17. And he also has that same logo Tiny has. Uh, he was released back in 2017 as well. He was a Canada only. I think Canada only and Europe only release. Never made it to the United States. So he's pretty rare. Uh, pretty hard to come by. I think I was fortunate enough to get him off a German Amazon, I think. I think it was German Amazon. Um, I was very lucky to get him. Because he has definitely become pretty rare. Because uh, he hasn't been re-released -re 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 since, and he was a, obviously a Europe exclusive. Um, but it's pretty cool because you can put uh, a lot of cars out here. Adam also fits on him. Um, so he's, a, he's, a, he's definitely a, a very cool, very unique release. Um, it's unfortunate we haven't seen him since. But um, yeah, those are just some comparisons I can make of Adam to other Piston Cup related vehicles. Obviously, the race divisions are 17, he's 209. No, so it's he works a different track or whatever than those guys. But um, yeah, I mean, he's pretty cool. Put up a picture of where he appeared in the short right there. I think he was just in the background dancing somewhere. Um, but regardless, I I do like this release. Obviously, he was pretty hard to find earlier in the year. Uh, he's gotten pretty easier now. You can uh, go and get him a target if you're lucky enough to find him there. But uh, it's definitely easier to find him now than it was when he was first placed, I think, in like June or something. So, uh, definitely a very cool release. Um, I think again, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. They're still releasing Piston Cup stuff, even with cars on the road. And I think it kind of shows how cars on the road can tie into Cars 3 and Cars 2 and whatnot because obviously. Uh, Adam here is you know, Cars on the Road release, but he ties in perfectly into the Cars on the Three. Car, car is the Cars on the Road release ties in perfectly to Cars Three uh, stuff, um, and he really could be from Cars Three. You really can't tell if you didn't know they were from Cars on the Road. He might as well have been from Cars Three. Uh, so 
I think that's pretty cool. I think it's great that the show ties perfectly into the movies. You've got, obviously, made her tall tales. They don't tie in quite as nicely into the movies as Cars on the Road. But, I mean, Cars on the Road, it's just fantastically ties right right into the movie. Um, but, let me know what you guys think of Adam Rodriguez. Uh, have you found him? Have you had luck finding him? If you have, uh, what do you think of him? You think you like him? I think he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool, for our first trucks release, I, I don't mind him at all. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.